And continuing our focus on jobs, I'm joined from Washington by Roel Campos, a former member of President Obama's Economic Advisory Board transition team. Mr. Campos was also an SEC commissioner from 2002 to 2007. He's now a partner at the Washington law firm of Lock Lord. Mr. Campos, welcome to Bottom Line. Thanks so much for coming on today. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for having me. Sir, as my colleagues are, Burton just mentioned the economy last month adding 103,000 jobs. But hiring is still too weak to bring down the unemployment rate. The jobless rate's been stuck around 9% for more than two years. Why have the stimulus, the payroll tax holiday, and quantitative easing all failed to move the needle on jobs? Well, first of all, Mark, you have to realize that, uh, and I, I, know, I know you do, that a, when, when a, a credit bubble bursts, like what we had occur before this president, President Obama, took over, uh, you have a very special type of decline in the economy. Uh, it takes many more years, uh, economists have learned, to bring back the economy to where it was. And so we, we have a very special kind of cat problem. Uh, and, and it takes a lot to bring this, this economy back. Now, what we can't do is sit back and expect it to correct itself. Uh, this is when government has a role, in my view. Now, Mr. Campos, as you know, it's been two years since the official end of the recession. And during that time, some of the information we have, corporate profits and the stock market, they have bounced back. But over 14 million Americans are out of work and over 2 million people, they've given up looking for work entirely. The economy's taken a beating, so is the American psyche. As uh, Speaker Boehner said in that package that uh, my colleague Peter Cook just reported on, they're rightfully pessimistic and asking where are the jobs. Talk to us about about the short and long-term prospects for a strong and sustained economic recovery. Well, it's we were we're we're in a we're in a ditch, as the president has said uh, before. Uh, we fortunately uh, we didn't get deeper. You know, we we essentially have stabilized uh, somewhat. I, I view the figures today as a, as a positive. The ship is not sinking. Uh, I, I view it as a place from uh, where we can take off. Uh, but but we need the president's job bill to go forward. Uh, you, the answer is not do nothing or sit back uh, exactly because of the figures you just showed. Business right now is spooked. They're still uh, worried. They still remember 08 and 09. Yeah. And they have found that they can that they can save money and, and, and increase profits by yeah. not hiring. But, Mr. Campos, you say that businesses are scared, but according to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and, and other organizations, businesses are also frustrated. They feel like they're being handcuffed by what they see as burdensome regulation. Is the regulatory environment conducive to hiring in this country right now? Well, I, I think, I think uh, no one wants uh, burdensome regulation. If, if there are regulations that are in the way of business, I think the administration, uh, I think Congress, everyone's open to uh, taking that, uh, that, that, those burdens away. Uh, essentially, what, what we still need is, is a, a way to stimulate, a way to incentivize businesses and look, look uh, only as far as, as the president's job bill to see incentives for, uh, for small businesses to hire, incentives for them to save payroll taxes, and for individual Americans to gain by having 50% less of their payroll taxes uh, that are due. And so having $1,500 in the pocket of, of a $50,000 a year family. That's the sort of thing we need. Uh, Mr. Campos, the president's running for re-election under the specter of having the highest unemployment of any president seeking a return to office since World War II. I recall when he was campaigning, when he was the Democratic nominee, uh, he was taking aim at something that uh, the Republican nominee John McCain had said. Mr. McCain insisted that a McCain administration would not be an extension of the Bush administration. And the president's quote at that time was, you know, you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. When the White House says that this economy is in the right direction, or at least headed in the right direction, are they putting a lipstick on a pig? I, I, I think they're very sober and clear-eyed about the economy. Uh, everyone uh, that I hear speak for the administration says that uh, 
it's not acceptable that we need more jobs, that 14 million Americans who are unemployed, uh, you know, need to be employed. Uh, the, the, frankly, Mark, the, the only way we're going to put a lot of people back to work is, is to do what America needs. We need infrastructure and construction jobs. A lot of the unemployed are in that particular sector. And it would do America and American business a lot of good to start building again, highways, bridges, you know, plants, infrastructure, but wind farms, Mr. Farm, Campos, how does, how does this all get paid for? Well, you know, uh, the, the president has several approaches uh, that, that do pay for the jobs bill that he's proposed. Uh, it, one, one of the recent items that he says he's willing to consider and, and go along with is a surtax on those making over a million dollars. And the idea there is, is fairness. You know, we're trying to find a way to be fair. And the president is concerned about the, the deficit. But, you know, you don't have to pay the deficit off in one year or in two years. The deficit is a long-term problem. And just like a family, when they're in trouble, they don't have to pay off all their loans right away. They need their money to be able to live, to eat, you know, to uh, educate themselves. That's what America right. needs. And we'll solve the deficit over time. Mr. Campos, as, as you're probably aware, yesterday, um, Senators McCain and Hagan, they announced they're going to co-sponsor legislation for a repatriation tax holiday. Right now, the corporate tax rate's at 35 percent. They want to knock that down to 8.75. And they say that's a trillion dollars back into this economy to help prop it up and to help create jobs. What are your thoughts? on that it might be a good idea I mean you know you, you always need uh, the economist and the uh, statisticians and others to run the numbers and, and see if, if that actually works yeah well one of the problems about repatriation as you know mark is that sometimes you know are, are we are we uh, sort of creating a, the idea that you can you can always count on the government to forgive taxes if you've made money overseas we, we, we need a, a firm and final solution to that problem, quite frankly. Mr. Campos, next Tuesday night, uh, Bloomberg and the Washington Post are going to be co-sponsoring a Republican presidential debate at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. What do you want the candidates to say? What, what do you need to hear from them? What does the country need to hear from the men and the women who might be the next president of the United States? Well, I, I think the American public wants to know what each of the candidates would do to make things better. If, if, if they have specific quarrels with the president's job bill, if, if they have a better idea, put it on the table. Uh, we, the, the answer can't be this do nothing and sit back uh, while 14 million and more and, and we keep this, this unemployment rate going forward. Uh, good ideas, uh, put them on the table and let's, let's talk about them. But, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the, 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 the problem is that we have in our country right now is that the middle class, the working class feels ignored and that they are not participating in the American economy and the American dream. Yeah. What are they going to do for them? Roel Campos, former member of President Obama's Economic Advisory Board transition team, now a partner at the Washington law firm of Lock Lord. Mr. Campos, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for coming on today. Thank you, Mark.